What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We're the Yachttobers. Today, we're checking out Doctor Strange. It came out in 2016 and was directed by Scott Derrickson. Babe, have you seen this one? Mm -mm, absolutely <laughs> not. So I'm on this journey with you guys, and baby, I've been here with you the whole time, so you know I have not seen this movie. Anyways, guys, we have met Wanda. We have met Vision. I don't know how much Stranger Strange can get, but today we're meeting Doctor Strange. So I'm going to tell them about the Patreon, tell them about supporting the channel, tell them about all that stuff. So go over to our Patreon. We're reacting to The Last of Us, and also we're going to check out these Marvel one shots and just a few days i guess right yeah we really need to get um up to date with those things and we are also probably about to start the shield agents of the shield we probably should have been started that but yeah anyways guys thank you so much for the support enough of our talking let's go let's go and they changed this i really like that oh that's sick whoa they said peter quill that's star lord right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they wanted to eat you they ain't never had no turn before. they ain't never had no turn for <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny Strange, bro. <laughs> so this is starting out way different than normal ones. <laughs> a little culty. It's normal, like we've got seven enemies on the roof. Um. Yeah, yeah like <laughs> 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 we got three cult members walking in the building. Wait, how the Captain America movies aren't? <laughs> They're like so action packed. Whoa. What? That was so unnecessary. Master Caecilius, that ritual will bring you only sorrow. Costumes though, on point. Yeah, like always, right? This is Marvel. A double decker? Where are they at? London or something? I don't know, man. What the world? I would be like, are y'all headed to Dragon Con or what's up? What? Hypocrite! Is that meant they're a hypocrite? <laughs> oh my gosh, she didn't even try to move. I know. Bro, she's like Tony, or not Tony Stark, Captain America. Yeah, that is so cool though. Okay, so what's going on here? How is she doing this? I have no idea. So she's tapping into like free energy or something, right? Creating portals, bending space time. Oh my God. What's that scar on her head? I don't even know what to say. What was that? That was the, cr <laughs> you know how like I've said before, I, I forgot what movie it was, but that was the craziest intro to a Marvel movie ever. That was. Yeah, cause it's just, what was that? That was wild. Okay, we got a doctor in the house. Oh, God, I hate watching surgeries. Oh, he's bopping too. <laughs> Regina George. Who? On Mean Girls. Hmm? Regina oh, George. Oh, that movie you like? I think I found the problem, Dr. Palmer. Oh, he got shot. Something about that doesn't feel right to me. We have to run. Dr. West, what are you doing? Organ harvest. He's a donor. Slow down. I did not agree to that. I don't need you to. We've already called brain death. Prematurely. We need to get a prep for suboccipital craniotomy. Not going to let you operate on a dead man. We're being hardened. You harden a bullet by alloying lead with antimony. And that's leached directly into the cerebral spinal fluid. Oh, it's poison him. I'll assist you. No, Dr. Palmer will assist me. Mmm. Be tough, huh? Mmm. If you're a surgeon out there, shout out to you. I don't know how you do it. Cranial nerves intact. Ugh. Dr. West, cover your watch. This is making my insides hurt. <laughs> oh my God, how did you, how did you? <laughs> He was fire at operation. Yeah, so he's the best, huh? I guess that's what makes him a superhero. Like, in a way, he just has that cerebrally. You know, you didn't have to humiliate him in front of everyone. I didn't have to save his patient either, but, you know, I sometimes just can't help myself. 
<laughs> you had a second opinion. What you needed was a competent one. Well, all the more reason why you should be my neurosurgeon on call. You can't work in your butcher's shop. Hey. Work I'm doing is going to save thousands for years to come. In ER, you get to save one drunk idiot with a gun? Yeah, you're right. In ER, we're only saving lives. There's no fame. There's no uh, CNN interviews. <sighs> well, I guess I'll just have to stick with Nick. You guys aren't. What? Sleeping together. Sorry, I thought that was implicit in my disgust. <laughs> No, I have a very strict rule against dating couples. Oh, really? I call it the strange policy. Oh, well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm talking tonight at a neurological society there. Come with me. So romantic. You should love coming to those things with me. They weren't about us. They were about you. Not only about me. Everything is about you. So he's kind of like Tony Stark, but a surgeon instead of like a, you know, a roboticist. Dang. Yeah, he is kind of like Tony Stark. <laughs> Absolutely. So full of himself that he'll risk everybody on the road, bro. What do you got for me? I've got a 35-year-old Air Force colonel. Crushed his lower spine in some kind of experimental armor. Mid-thoracic burst fracture. <gasps> Rody? Mm-hmm. Find me something worth my time. Find me something worth my time. Wow. How about a 22-year-old female with an electronic implant in her brain to control schizophrenia struck by lightning? That does sound interesting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa, dude, look at this. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh man, he's beat up. Bad. Boy, he looked like Tony Stark did at the end of that last movie, don't he? Oh my gosh. His hands. Was that what crushed in the car? Did you Doesn't see that? It look like yeah, it looked like his hands. And a surgeon needs his hands. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. What did they do? They rushed you in a chopper. Golden hours for nerve damage went by while you were in the car. His hands aren't going to be the same. Do you hear that? 11 stainless steel pins in the bones. Multiple torn ligaments. Severe nerve damage in both hands. <sighs> you were on the table for 11 hours. No one could have done better. I could have done better. I'm sorry, dude. That wasn't an option. Wow, man, what in the world? Like everything just got taken from him. They need to take him to Wakanda because they have the best technology in medicine, right? Something like that. That's where they went to take Bucky, right? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. You ruined me. How long until I can Dr. take Dr. Strange, them? those tissues are still healing. So speed it up. Pass a stent down the brachial artery into the radial artery. Experimental and expensive, but possible. All I need is possible. That poor guy. Up. Oh. Hey, he's pulling though. Have you ever known anyone with nerve damage this severe to do this and actually recover? One guy, yeah. Factory accident. Broke his back. His leg wasted away. He came in three times a week. A few years later, he walked past me on the street. Walked? Yeah, walked. Bullshit. Show me his file. It take me a while to pull the files from the archive, but if it proves your arrogant ass wrong, <laughs> worth it. <laughs> I feel the same way. Rude. He doesn't seem very humble yet, does he? Mm -mm. The universe tried to strike him down. Oh, he's going to cut himself. Oh. I looked at all your research. I read all the papers you've sent. I don't think you realize how severe the damages Look, here's are. The, thing. the best I've I... tried and failed. Yeah, I, I understand. But just Here's the thing. I... What you want from me is impossible, Stephen. Come on. No. Mon ami. No, no, wait. <laughs> He won't do it. There is a new procedure in Tokyo. They culture donor stem cells and then harvesting them and then 3D printing a scaffold. If I could get a loan together, just. Oh, wow. He's just desperate, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time to consider stopping. No, now is exactly the time not to stop because you see, I'm not getting any better. This, some things just can't be fixed. Without my work. It's still life. There are other things that can give your life meaning. Like what? Like you. Oh. And this is the part where you apologize. <laughs> For real. Oh. Mm. It breaks my heart to see you this way. We are not friends, Christine. We were barely lovers. You just love a sob story, don't you? Is that what I am to you now? You care so much, don't you? Goodbye, Stephen. Dang. I mean, he's just bitter and angry and not thinking because, mm. I mean, there's not many people in your life like that, like her.
Oh, and he's hooping too? Dang, the guy with the leg? Yeah. Oh my, where's the competition? <laughs> Jonathan Pangborn, C7, C8, spinal cord injury. Who are you? Paralyzed from the mid chest down, partial paralysis in both hands. I don't know you. I'm Steven Strange, a neurosurgeon. Was a neurosurgeon. Actually, you know what, man? I do know you. I came to your office once. You refused to see me. Oh. I never got past your assistant. You were untreated. No glory for you in that, right? If you came back from a place there's no way back from, I'm trying to find my own way back. Oh. All right. I've given up on my body. I thought my mind's the only thing I have left. I should at least try to elevate that. So I sat with gurus and sacred women. Strangers carried me to mountaintops to see holy men. I found my teacher, and my mind was elevated, and my spirit deepened. And somehow... Your body healed. Yes. And there were deeper secrets to learn there, but I didn't have the strength to receive them. I chose to settle for my miracle, and I came back home. So, like, mind over matter, basically, right? I guess so. How much? I'm not talking about money. Good luck. What in the world? <laughs> like he was very straight up in a way, but he was very discreet at the same time. I know. Time. It was like, I'll tell you how it is. And then gets off on a mystery, don't yeah. he? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you how it is. Insert the most like vague thing you can say. I know he put all that <laughs> on it. You know what I'm saying? He just followed him. He said, all right, then. He's I'll desperate. Whatever. Yeah. Ooh. Assassin's Creed vibes, babe? Yeah. Especially with the stealthy stalking behind you. Okay. I don't have any money. Your watch. Oh, please. It's all I have left. Your watch. Oh, you just oh. shouldn't have even. <gasps> oh. Wow. Don't it sort of seem like he let him get beat up a little bit though? He could have walked up a little quicker. <laughs> he just wanted him to take his licks for some reason. Aww. You're looking for Kamataj. He unveiled himself like I was supposed to know who he was, so I got real confused right there. Did you? I we're about to know now. Let's go. We got the right place. That one looks a little more Kamataji. <laughs> <laughs> and I too was disrespectful so might i offer you some advice forget everything you think you know all right he, so vague <laughs> what he is gonna do anything to get those hands fixed boy I'm he's enduring you. a lot of weird stuff the sanctuary of our teacher the ancient one the ancient one what's his real name <laughs> right forget everything i think i know sorry that man don't have a humble bone in his body though does he <laughs> thank you for well Thank you. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> that, thank you, Ancient One, for seeing me. You're very welcome. Oh. She's familiar. I've seen her in something. Thank you, Master Mordo. Thank you, Master Hamir. <clears throat> Mr. Strange. Doctor, actually. Well, no, not anymore, surely. <laughs> Isn't that why you're here? You've undergone many procedures. Seven, right? Did you heal a man named Pangborn, paralyzed man? In a way. You helped him to walk again. Yes. How did you correct a complete C7, C8 spinal cord injury? Well, I didn't correct it. He couldn't walk. I convinced him that he could. You're not suggesting it was psychosomatic. What if I told you that your own body could be convinced to put itself back together in all sorts of ways? How? Just how experimental is your treatment? Quite. You <laughs> reprogram nerve cells to self-heal? No, Mr. Strange. I know how to reorient the spirit. The spirit to heal the body. <laughs> She's not giving him nothing. No, she is. He's just not hearing it. <laughs> it's really good. It's just, you know, I've seen it before in gift shops. <laughs> <laughs> Acupuncture, great. That one. You're showing me an MRI scan. Each of those maps was drawn up by someone who could see in part, but not the whole. At my last dollar getting here. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole, and you've spent your whole life trying to widen that keyhole. And now, on hearing that it can be widened, you reject the possibility. No, I reject it because I do not believe in fairy tales about chakras or energy. There is no such thing as spirit. You think too little of yourself. Oh, you think you see through me, do you? Well, you don't. But I see through you! 
Oh. Knock the soul right out of him, didn't she? Wow. What's in that tea? Psilocybin? LSD? <laughs> <laughs> For a moment, you entered the astral dimension. Why are you doing this to me? To show you just how much you don't know. Open your eyes. This is crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, this is what I was looking for right here. What is real? The root of existence. Mind and matter meet. Thoughts shape reality oh my gosh this is like everything everywhere all at once in a way yeah this is the trippiest thing i've seen in my life worlds without end filled with malice and hunger oh my who are you in this vast multiverse i would not want to ask her any more questions i would have so many no if i had to get taken through that every time you ask one heck no nah. Oh my god, you have to land like that? Have you seen that before in a gift shop? Not unless it's a dispensary gift shop. <laughs> he said, teach me? Why is she so mean to my boy though? Because he's so just arrogant. Yeah, he came in there and not respecting the... No, 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 no. He thought she was serving him up LSD. I mean, I've never done psilocybin, but I'm imagining that's what it'd be like. <laughs> you think I was wrong to cast him out? Five hours later, he's still on your doorstep. There's a strength to him. Arrogance, ambition, I've seen it all before. He's a Taurus. <laughs> Cannot lead another gifted student to power, only to lose him to the darkness. You didn't lose me. I wanted the power to defeat my enemies. You gave me the power to defeat my demons. Wow. We never lose our demons, Morda. We only learn to live above them. Caecilius still has the stolen pages. If he deciphers them, he could bring ruin upon us all. There may be dark days ahead. Perhaps Kamataj could use a man like Strange. Oh. After seeing that, I would show up to that door every single day. I'd go eat, shower, and come back. Mm -hmm. Oh, they let him in. They gave him a chance. <laughs> he said, thank you. <laughs> Bathe. Rest. Meditate. The Ancient One will send for you. Uh, what's this? My mantra? The Wi-Fi password. <laughs> <laughs> Shambhala. <laughs> this <is a> mantra. <laughs> Everyone's smiling in these movies. They just kill it, don't they? <laughs> and she done got him a watch that says, I love you. I know, and she was riding with him too, even when he lost his hands. The sorcerers of antiquity call the use of this language spells, the source code that shapes reality. We harness energy. Wow. Drawn from other dimensions of the multiverse to cast spells, to conjure shields, and weapons to make magic. How do I get from here to there? How did you get to reattach severed nerves and put a human spine back together, bone by bone? Study and practice. So he's got to put his time and work in, huh? That's the strange. And you are? Wow. Wow. Just one? Like <laughs> Adele? <laughs> <laughs> Aristotle. Yeah. Meta reference. <laughs> Book of the Invisible Sun, Astronomia Nova, Key of Solomon. You finished all of this? Yep. Come with me. This section is for masters only. You should start with Maxim's primer. How's your Sanskrit? Fluent in Google Translate. <laughs> Vedic classical Sanskrit. What are those? The Ancient One's private collection. So they're forbidden? No knowledge in Kamataj is forbidden. Only certain practices. Those books are far too advanced for anyone other than the Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah, I would kind of want to read it too, actually. That's the one he tore out the page. The study of time. One of the rituals was stolen by a former master. The zealot, Caecilius. Just after he strung up the former librarian, relieved him of his head. Mm. I am now the guardian of these books. So if a volume from this collection should be stolen again. I'd know it, and you'd be dead before you ever left the compound. But it's just overdue. <laughs> People used to think that I was funny. Did it work for you? All right, well, it's been... <laughs> <laughs> Did they work for you? Oh, no, I hope nothing happens to that guy. He had to carve that into his forehead? Oh, my gosh. We will now receive the power to destroy the one who betrayed us. The one who betrays the world. 
What in the world? This is filmed crazy. I'm trying to understand what he's doing. So he's basically like changing the atomic structure of things like on a molecular level. Oh, he doesn't like, have that yet. He's using the energy and the forces from other universes to like manipulate those things. Maybe. Is essential to the mystic arts. See the destination in your mind. Look beyond the world in front of you. Oh, oh he's getting some pop though. I'd be happy about that. Yeah, me too. Because imagine if you could do that, like at the party. Just be like, <laughs> That's just, enough to impress us Earthlings or whatever. That's what I'm saying. I would like a moment alone with Mr. Strange. It's not about your hands. How is this not about my hands? It's about your mind, cuz. Oh. Yeah, it ain't about your hands. Thank you, Master Hymir. You cannot beat a river into submission. You have to surrender to its current, use its power as your own. Your intellect has taken you far in life. But it will take you no further. Surrender, Stephen. Silence your ego, and your power will rise. I like the way she said ego. She said ego. I'm gonna start saying it like with that. a capital E. Yeah, ego. Dang. She can just go there. At this temperature, a person can last for 30 minutes before suffering permanent loss of function. <laughs> like go into shock within the first two. What? Surrender, Stephen. Oh heck no. Nah. Dang. Bro, I'd be like. Any second now. They believe in him. <laughs> like, I don't know how you just let go, though. I don't know what that means. You just be humble. You drop your ego. Uh-oh. I feel like he's not going to make it. They're going to have to go get him. Never he mind. did it. Barely, boy. Look, he's frozen up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Poor guy. <laughs> What do you call that? I don't know, but I might would have just shaved that off. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call that? Like mutton chops or something? Yeah, something like that. I guess clean. Don't get me wrong. Clean. No, That's I'm what you look like clean. when I first met you. Yeah, I did. I had it. I can grow it. Nah, not. don't do it. And I'm ready for that. Try me, Beyonce. <laughs> oh, he's going to be like humble but arrogant. Come on, just give me the rope. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he dropped the book. <laughs> 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 He's outside his body? Now I'm told you question every lesson preferring to teach yourself. Once in this room you told me to open my eye. Now I'm being told to blindly accept rules that make no sense. You're advancing quickly with your sorcery skills. You need a safe space to practice your spells. But he's a quick learner. I mean, he's got the brain of a brain surgeon, right? You are now inside the mirror dimension, ever present but undetected. The real world isn't affected by what happens here. We use the mirror dimension to train, surveil, and sometimes to contain threats. What do you mean, threats? If I told you everything else that you don't already know, you'd run from here in terror. So just how ancient is she? No one knows the age of the Sorceress Supreme. Only that she's Celtic and never talks about her past. Follow her, even though you don't know? I know she's steadfast, but unpredictable. Merciless yet kind. You made me what I am. Trust <laughs> your teacher and don't lose your way. Like I said, this. That's right. You knew him. He was a grieving, broken man. Questioned the ancient one, rejected her teaching. He left Kamatash. And he stole the forbidden ritual, right? What did he do? No more questions. What's that? That's a question. <laughs> this is a relic. Some magic is too powerful to sustain, so we imbue objects with it. Oh my gosh. There are many relics. The wand of a tomb, the vaulting boots of Valtor. When do I get my relic? When you're ready. I'm ready. You're ready when the relic decides you're ready. Fight like your life depended on it! Whoa, that was so cool. Because one day, it may. And he got dropped at practice. <laughs> I know. The man's sparring hard. Eh? <laughs> hey, Christine, I'm off learning magic. <laughs> it actually worked, believe it or not. <laughs> How are you just gonna put that on? First, open the eye of Agamotto. Oh my gosh, what's if, what if that's one of them stones? But I thought Loki's was the green one. No, Loki's, when they opened it up, was the thing that made vision. He just went to the future and ate the apple. 
Now he went back to the past. Maybe it's the time stone. Dude, this movie is That's crazy. So cool. bro. He like cranks it up. He's changing the past. Right? Like he's moving in and out the past. He said, "What if?" Oh no! I hope he don't need those pages. That's part of the instructions. Whoa! He went back to the. Oh my gosh! He's smart. Dimension, eternal life. Tampering with continuum probabilities is forbidden. I, I, I was just doing exactly what it said in the book. Temporal manipulations can create branches in time, unstable dimensional openings, spatial paradoxes, time loops. I really should put the warnings before the spell. <laughs> <laughs> weren't manipulating the space-time continuum you were breaking it wow where did you learn the litany of spells required to even understand it not a photographic memory is how i got my md and phd at the same time what you just did takes more than a good memory you were born for the mystic arts and yet my hands still shake for now yes not forever we're not prophets when are you gonna start telling me what we are so they're defenders of natural law mm -hmm. we sorcerers safeguarded against more mystical threats ancient one is the latest in a long line of sorcerers supreme going back thousands of years to the father of the mystic arts mighty agamotto same sorcerer who created the eye you so recklessly borrowed agamotto built three sanctums in places of power where great cities now stand that door leads to the hong kong sanctum that door to the new york sanctum that one to the London Sanctum. Sanctums generate a protective shield around our world. Wow. And we sorcerers protect the sanctums. From what? Other dimensional beings that threaten our universe. Like Dormammu. Where did you learn that name? I just read it in the book of Cagliostro. Why? Dormammu dwells in the dark dimension beyond time. He is the cosmic conqueror, destroyer of worlds. And he hungers for Earth most of all. Pages of Kaisalia Storm. A ritual to contact the Mamu and draw power from the dark dimension. <laughs> I came here to heal my hands, not to fight in some mystical war. <laughs> London. Boy, you in it now. Oh, he's invading like right now during that speech. Perfect timing. That's what I'm saying, man. Now he has no choice but to fight. But I guess that's the point. He was outside of time, so I guess he knew that he was going to say that right then. We catching on, y'all. <laughs> mm -mm, you better close that. Hello? See, they made you master of this sanctum. You know what that means? That you'll die protecting it. Stop! He's. <laughs> what's he gonna do now? How long have you been at Kamataj, Mr. Doctor? Mr. Doctor? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> His eye makeup looks insane. I know, it's kind of cool. Whoa. He's got one, though. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not fully there yet because he's still getting a little bodied up. Yeah, but he's got potential, though. It's 3v1, and that's that main bad guy right there. I know. There you go. Yeah, leave him there. Close the door. Dang. He <laughs> 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 got so mad. That wall thing, though, the wall dash. The wall dash, <laughs> yeah. A vase? You don't know how to use that, do you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that villain though is funny. <laughs> yeah, I like him. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> that cloak was just protecting him. Yeah. Whoa. 
Let's go. Bro, he recovered quick. I'd have been a little bit shook. I would be like, this cloak just followed me? I would think the cloak was getting me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to backhand that thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Oh. Yeah, grab that. You about to get medieval on him. He said, nah, don't grab that. <laughs> he said, nah, that ain't no, the no, answer, no. boy. Oh, because he just doesn't get it. Like, he's not understanding. That That's not going to help him. It's physical. Whoa. Oh. What the heck was that? Oh. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear these. It's probably a spell. Dying. Oh, stop it. You understand the laws of nature. All things age. All things die. But the dark dimension. It's a place beyond time. That's it. I'm putting this thing back on. <laughs> this world can take its rightful place alongside so many others as part of the one, the great and beautiful one. We can all live forever. People think in terms of good and evil when really time is the true enemy of us all. Time kills everything. You see what we're doing. The world is not what it ought to be. Humanity longs for the eternal. A world beyond time because time is what enslaves us. Time is an insult. We don't seek to rule this world. We seek to save it. I don't know. What was it that brought you to Kamataj, Doctor? You came to be healed, as did we all. Kamataj is a place that collects broken things. We all come with the promise of being healed, and instead the Ancient One gives us power tricks. The real magic she keeps for herself. You ever wonder how she managed to live this long? It's what the Ancient One hoards, Dormammu gives freely. Life everlasting. He's not the destroyer of worlds, Doctor. He's the savior of worlds. No, I mean, come on. Look at your face. <laughs> Just how good can his kingdom be? You think that's funny? What's funny is that you've lost your sling ring. Oh, my God. Oh, he's leaking, too, ain't he? I know. It's that cape. <laughs> Whoa. That cape is the bomb. <laughs> It still got him. Yeah. <laughs> well, you need to open up to a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it> did. <laughs> Let's go. Is he gonna get her Christine? Absolutely. She's gonna be like, what are you wearing? Who are you? Sir, can I help you? Dr. Palmer, where is she? At the nurse station. Steven? He's touching oh. everything too, ain't he? Mm -hmm. What happened? Stabbed. What are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. How could you not though? I mean, come on. No, 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 no. Oh. Just a little while. She can see him right now? I know. What am I seeing? My astral body. Are you dead? No, Christine, but I am dying. Can he do that? Can he just do it on himself then? I'm not sure. I guess he can't interact with the physical. Yeah, he can't. Oh, wow. I've never seen a wound like this with <laughs> Nice. Oh god. Boy, he's oh my gosh, this is crazy, y'all. So we're about to have an astral projection fight. I'm gonna have to vanish now. No, what? Keep me alive, will you? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Is it gonna mess anything up in there? I I guess so. I guess not, because it's, it's just happening in there and she can't even see. I guess they don't oh. interact enough to like really cause much damage. Oh, wait. No, shit. Y'all need to take that outside. <laughs> oh. oh, he's like, sweet. <laughs> he's like a doctor, though. <laughs> he can buy the whole vending machine. <laughs> when you get some freebies, you take them. I know. <laughs> oh, my. Poor Christine. She ain't seen him in a while and he comes back and just gives her all this. Yeah. Hit me again. <gasps> Don't, your heart's beating. Just do it. But I, can't... I know. How's she going to explain this in a courtroom? You can't. <laughs> so he's harnessing the energy from that oh, shock right there. He's like, that's against everything I've learned as a nurse. <laughs> 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 Poor lady. <laughs> Two emails, but you never responded. Why would I? Christine, I am so, so sorry. As a complete asshole, I treated you so horribly, and you deserved so much more. Stop. You're, you're clearly in shock. <laughs> I mean, what the hell is happening? Where have you been? After Western medicine failed me, I headed east, and I ended up in Kathmandu. Kathmandu? Yeah. <laughs> Talked to someone called the Ancient One, and... Oh. 
So you joined a cult? No, I didn't. <laughs> That's what I was thinking it was. What do you think you're doing? No, I'm late for a cult meeting. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Where are you going? Um, a powerful sorcerer gave himself over to an ancient entity, combined the very laws of physics, tried <laughs> very hard to kill me, but I left him chained up in Greenwich Village, and the quickest way back there is through a dimensional gateway that I open up in the moth closet. Okay, don't tell me. <laughs> he was being honest. I know. <laughs> Where do they do have to go? Mm. Oh. <laughs> She's so on edge right now. I would I be too. Her. I would be too. I know that would make my whole day if I saw that. I would actually think something happened. I, th I would think I was on drugs or something. Yeah. I don't know if I'd trust my eyes. So that's basically like his cape. That thing was not his cape, but it chose him. Because weren't they saying that it would choose you when you were ready? The cloak of levitation. He's escaped. Tysilius. Yeah. He can fold space and matter at will. In the real world? Yeah. How many more? Two. Master Drum is in the foyer. He's been taken back to Kamataj. The London Sanctum has fallen. Only New York and Hong Kong remain now to shield us from the dark dimension. You defended the New York Sanctum from attack. With its master gone, it needs another. Wow. When I became a doctor, I swore an oath to do no harm, and I have just killed a man. I'm not doing that again. I became a doctor to save lives, not take them. You want to go back to the delusion that you can control anything, even death, which no one can control. Not even the great Dr. Stephen Strange. Not even Dormammu. He offers immortality. It's our fear of death that gives Dormammu life. He feeds off it. Like you feed off him. Talk to me about controlling death. Why well, I know how you do it. I've seen the missing rituals from the book of Cagliostro. Measure your next words very carefully, Doctor. Because you might not like them. Because you may not know of what you speak. What is he talking about? Talking about her long life, the source of her immortality. She draws power from the dark dimension to stay alive. That's not true. Those are some accusations, boy. Once they regroup, the Zealots will be back. You'll need reinforcements. She didn't want to talk about that, did she? No, she didn't even answer. No idea the responsibility that rests upon her shoulders. No, and I don't want to know. You're a coward. Because I'm not a killer? These zealots will snuff us all out, and you can't muster the strength to snuff them first? What do you think I just did? You saved your own life, and then, then whined about it like a wounded dog. Oh, and you would have done it so easy. You, you have no idea the things I've done. And the answer is yes. Without hesitation. Even if I believe him. Way, there is no other. Where you lack imagination. No, Stephen. You lack the spy. Ooh. They're back. But like he doesn't believe in anything, right? He just believes in like his own self-preservation. But he's really good. Yeah, I mean he's a great guy for sure. No, I'm, I'm talking about like in terms of his spells. But I think he's talented, but his motivations are wrong. You can't affect the real world in here. Who's laughing now? Asshole. <laughs> I am. Oh no. So are they in the mirror dimension or Yeah, not? right now they are. Oh my. What? Their connection to the dark dimension makes them more powerful in the mirror dimension. They can't affect the real world, but they can still kill us. Well, at least nothing happens in the real world, but I hope they survive. That's kind of crazy because they're just fighting. They're Stanley right there. <laughs> what was he reading? I don't know. Can I see? Hold on, let's see what's saying. That is hilarious. The, the dress of perception or something. I don't know. The depth of perception. That's so crazy that they're fighting like this and everyone's just going on with their lives. Like they have no idea. I mean, dude, who knows what's really going on around us? I know. In maybe true I don't reality, see that. You know, you know? maybe there could be all kinds of things that. happening. Oh my. This was a mistake. Oh my god. Well, good thing one of them has a cape on. Like, where are you supposed to run there? I don't know. I'm sure I'm missing something. Let me know in the comment section what's going on when when all these cities and stuff are twisting and mirroring and bending. Exactly what is this movie going for right now? What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> Let's see your work. 
Let's I know, go. I can't wait. Let's go. Maybe Dr. Strange will beginning. give her some more respect now. We've seen her at the beginning, remember? Mm -hmm. She said, I got this one, boys. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, she she does. The dark dimension. Kaecilius. I came to you broken, lost, in need. Trusted you to be my teacher, and you fed me lies. I tried to protect you. From the truth. From yourself, Dormammu deceives you. You have no idea what he truly is. Liar. Dang. Dang, he said it was torment. Torture is different from torment, guys. Torture is when you hurt someone. Torment is when you inflict it upon yourself mentally. Oh no. She can't just die that easy though, can she? I don't know, because he drew powers from the dark dimension too, so I don't know. That happened in she might be dead for real. They're gonna think somebody done fell out of a dang cosplay convention or something. Or <laughs> Christine. Is the doctor about to perform? Nick. We need to relieve the pressure on her brain. Oh my gosh. You need to actual project and talk to her. Let's go, baby. Where's oh, she she's running? running. Oh, she's dying. You don't have time. Time is relative. I've spent so many years peering through time. I've prevented countless terrible futures. And after each one, there's always another. And they all lead here. You think this is where you die? Mm. You wonder what I see in your future? I never saw your future, only its possibilities. Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. Which is? It's not about you. Wow, so simple but so deep, right? Right. Able to heal Jonathan Pangborn. He channels dimensional energy directly into his own body. He had a choice. So I could have my hands back again. You could, and the world would be all the lesser for it. I've hated drawing power from the dark dimension. Mordo won't see it that way. He needs your flexibility, just as you need his strength. We don't get to choose our time. Wow. Death is what gives life meaning. You'd think after all this time I'd be ready. But look at me stretching one moment out into a thousand. Wow. That was unbelievable, guys. What in the world? And she's gone. She's oh, my gosh. She was an awesome character. Holy. So whoa. she was drawing the powers to protect everybody. Oh, my God. <laughs> she, has, she just saw that and got upset. She was like, oh. Let's go, Doctor Strange. Let's go. Y'all like when we show out during them kiss scenes. We got in trouble for one of the last ones. We didn't react good enough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Boy. Well, they're just trying to get some street food. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, there's that shape. No one steps foot in this sanctum. Let's go. No they just have no idea battles about to take place. You're on the wrong side of history, Warren. She's dead. You were right. She wasn't who I thought she was. She was complicated. Complicated. The dark dimension is volatile. What if it overtook us? She taught us it was forbidden, while she drew on its power to steal centuries of life. She did what she thought was right. Kaecilius was her fault. A world on fire. Mordo of the London Sanctum has fallen. The New York one has been attacked twice. You know where they're going next. Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong. I cannot defeat them alone. It was easy to convince. Look how terrible it looks. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. The dark dimension. Dormammu is coming. It's too late. Nothing can stop you. Not necessarily. If he goes back in time? Yeah, I was about to say he has that. No. Oh, that guy said, oh no. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. This man had a reverse card, didn't he?
Oh, so he's not bound by that stone anymore. So he's escaped that. I don't know if it's a stone. I just assume that. It's got to be the stone, right? It looks like a stone. It's just very powerful. I don't know. And we haven't seen a green one yet. Oh. That was terrible. That's awesome. You put it back together. Wow. What in the world? They tiled them up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they tiled them up. Golly, they just keep finding new ways to destroy these cities in these movies, don't they? Oh, nice. Oh, did you see that? That rebar. He fell in that concrete, baby, and a rebar went through him and killed him. Oh, my gosh. Breaking the laws of nature, I know. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. for his benefit this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when the sanctum's restored, they'll attack it again. We've got to defend it. Wow, so they're just going to keep doing it. They're gonna, until they get it right, I guess. Boom. Did that just destroy it? So it wasn't a stone if it just destroyed it. I don't know. I don't think you can destroy one by... Whoa. Oh my god. Remember that challenge back in the day when people would have to do that? Get up and fight. We can finish this. You can't fight the inevitable. Isn't it beautiful? A world beyond time, beyond death. Why do you even want that? You're just grumpy and mean. Strength! Got a blast. Are those germs? I think that's just the fabric of the universe. Like, I, I think, like, outside of the dimension, that's what it looks like. Outside of time. Like big old germs? I guess. I mean, they're doing the best they can do to portray it, but you can't really portray that. Even Strange has left you and surrendered to his power. Why did that look like Thanos? Was that? No, that's Dormammu. You come to bargain. You come to die. Oh, because Thanos got that wood look to his face. <laughs> yeah, I would hate to fight people from another dimension. You just don't know what they got. Bro, this movie goes dumb, dude. He looked into the future and saw it was... I'm done. I am done. Well, he already knows what's up. So he's seeing all possible outcomes, basically. Oh, okay. I've come to bargain. What is happening? This is you gave Kaecilius powers from your dimension. I brought a little power from mine. This is time. Endless looped time. Yeah, hit him with that. <laughs> Your mama, <laughs> you cannot do this forever. Actually, I can. This is how things are now. You and me trapped in this moment endlessly. But everyone on earth will live. But you will suffer. Pain's an old friend. Oh, wow. Dormammu? 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 Wow. Unbelievable, dude. Do you even, do you even try to fight it at that point? <laughs> I think he's just trying to make him, like, snap or something. I don't know. You will never win. But I could lose again and again and again forever. It makes you my prisoner. No! Me free. Oh, so he sucked too. I've come to bargain. What do you want? To make a deal, cuz. Take your zealots from the earth and your assault on my world. Never come back, and I'll break the loop. He's in control now. I Absolutely, like that. he is. That was yeah. Awesome. I guess because he has that. I guess it's the stone. I don't know. Get up and fight. But it's very powerful. Isn't it beautiful? A world beyond time, beyond death. No, sir. What have you done? I made a bargain. What is this? Well, it's uh, it's everything you ever wanted. Eternal life is part of the one. <laughs> You're not gonna like it. What y'all get? So Loki just had to annoy that guy. Well, he basically um trapped him. Yeah, he trapped him in a he time. He didn't do loop. anything. Made him a prisoner. Yeah, he was able to use that sorcery and the magic, I guess, to manipulate. The warnings come after the spell. <laughs> I guess that's the time stone, right? I guess. Or the magic zone. around you it's over you still think there will be no consequences strange no price to pay we broke our rules 
just like her. The bill comes due. Uh oh. I will follow this path no longer. <laughs> Why is choice? You'll wear the eye of Akimoto once you've mastered its powers. Until then, best not to walk the streets wearing an infinity stone. A what? You might have a gift for the Mystic Arts, but you still have much to learn. I mean, I knew it had to be an infinity stone, right? Earth has no sorcerer supreme to defend it. We'll be ready. People are going to come for it because there's no one to protect it, apparently. Yeah. I guess that was like a protective shield barrier or something. The sanctum thing. Yeah. Isn't that what that little basketball looking symbol is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> basketball looking symbol. It kind of does look like it, don't <laughs> it? It's a good symbol, though. Time is broken. It's not what you think it is. Right. Crazy. Dude. Absolutely insane. Crazy movie. Um. We'll see yeah, what, let's just we'll get to this end screen real quick. Worth has wizards now, huh? <laughs> tea? I don't drink tea. Well, what do you drink? <laughs> so I keep a watch list of <laughs> individuals and beings from other realms that may be a threat to this world. Your adopted brother Loki is one of those beings. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. So why bring him here to New York? Bit of a long story, family drama, that kind of thing, but we're looking for my father. Oh, okay. So if you found Odin, you'd all return to Asgard promptly. Promptly. Great. <laughs> Allow me to help you. He said, get him out. <laughs> it was always good to see him. See, there's another one. I dude, know. That was good to see them. I know, dude. I missed him. I we missed him so bad in, in the last one. I know. All right, let's see here. Die grinder. Can I help you? They carried you into Kamataj on a stretcher. Look at you now, Van Bourne. The basketball player. So what can I do for you, man? The true purpose of a sorcerer is to twist things out of their proper shape. Stealing power, perverting nature, like you. What the heck? Why are you doing this? Because I see at long last what's wrong with the world. Too many sorcerers. Why did he go all corrupt like that, though? I mean, that guy wasn't doing anything wrong. Just using a little bit of power. Just enough to power his leg. What How much power could that world? take? What is this? Oh, that's like... Dr. That's Shrink. like... That's 2022. We can't watch that right what? now. This is a movie? Just she looks stop. like some Batwoman. That's Wanda. Okay, guys, that was Doctor Strange. I'm going to keep this short, man, because there is so much to tackle in this movie that I could honestly sit here and babble forever. Yeah, man, so we got to meet another guy, Doctor Strange. He had a really awesome origin story. He started out very full of himself, very materialistic. But a super good surgeon. Amazing surgeon. I guess he was very cerebral, like he mentioned in the video. He does have a photographic memory. But he was humble, man, by circumstance. Was speeding in the rain, and I guess in his brilliant genius mind, he just didn't understand the most basic laws of inertia and <laughs> got into a wreck and yeah it humbled him man and lost he lost everything. himself well he lost himself most importantly didn't he baby you know he started getting into all this weird medicine and things like that and spending all of his money was destroying the relationship with you know the only person in his life who could really deal with him super sad story man with that being said he developed all these powers that i don't quite understand i did my best to try to understand them in the you know in the movie but very complicated man so you guys let us know what we missed try your best to explain his powers to us in a way that and, we can understand and something i want to ask is like and for you comic book um you know, people like how was that portrayed in the comics? Like, how could they explain that? We were talking about how we need to go hit up a comic book store one day because it'd be really interesting to just thumb through some of these comics and see how they look. Like I, how you could portray that in a comic would be mind blowing to me. Yeah, the concept in the movie was tough. I couldn't imagine reading it like in a comic. I've never even considered looking at a comic book before, but so many people in the comment sections are so passionate because it's something that has been a staple of your childhood and it was a way that a lot of you people connected with your parents and stuff. And honestly, man, that's a really beautiful sentiment to us, like for real, so. Because our parents weren't into that, so. Yeah, I mean, my dad was a workaholic. That's probably so, why we missed you know. all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man, Doctor Strange, uh, we met, I guess the biggest takeaway from this movie was we were introduced to another Infinity Stone, the Time Stone, which was. I didn't say it was the Time Stone, I assume that. Yeah, well, he was using it to bend time, so, you know, but don't they all have a theme like that? Yeah, though? but I, it could have been the magic stone. I don't know. Anyways, man, it was the time stone or the magic stone. You let us know. Yeah, please tell us. Jeez. And yeah, it can do some really crazy things. It can bend the space time continuum. I guess they can harness energy from another universe. So it's almost like free unlimited energy, you know, because very complicated concepts, guys. Uh, this is the type of thing that I'm into. I'm very interested in these subjects and stuff. But, you know, this is not exactly a scientific based movie. So I don't know how much they was trying to go for like the real wall 
walls of like quantum mechanics and stuff in here. But really fun movie. I had so much fun watching it. I don't really have anything else well, to add. I do. You have, I do. What you got? The end screen. Okay, we saw Thor. Yeah. I think the next one. Do we watch Thor Ragnarok next? Either that or Black Panther. We'll figure it out. But it's one yeah, of the two. Or Guardians of the Galaxy two. It's one of those three. That was interesting because he was saying something about Loki. Like, subscribe, hit us up on Patreon. Thank you guys like always for the support. We're having a lot of fun on this journey. We'll be back next Monday. Peace.